So what I want to cover in this video is to show you how to make a separate area inside a team that has a different set of permissions to the standard channels. Now, typically what you need to remember is in teams that all the channels have the same permissions for the members, which is read, write, and contribute. Now, if you want to create an area within that team that maybe has a different set of permissions for a different set of users, the best practice is to go and create this separate area. Now, Inside our team here, you'll see that we've got two channels. We've got a general and a finance. Now, when these are initially set up, they have their own unique permissions that are managed by the team, which are typically read, write, contribute, uh, and so on. Now, if we want to create another area, the best practice approach is not to change any of the permissions that are here, but to go in and create a new document library and to uh, go in and link it into the team. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to the files area of the general and I'm going to uh, basically go to the ellipse here and I'm going to select the option to open in SharePoint. So this will open the uh, associated team site, SharePoint team site with that Microsoft team. Now we'll see here that this is uh, a list of those files. So if we just pull this over here perhaps so that we can see this a bit better as a comparison. So you'll see that these are exactly the uh, same files here. Now if we navigate back up to the top of the document library here, you'll see that we have folders that match exactly the channels that we have over here. So basically when a team is created, it creates a SharePoint site and it creates any channels inside the standard documents uh, library and then creates each channel as a subfolder. Now that means that the permissions are going to be inherited from the top down and we really don't want to fiddle with those because they are managed by the team. Now the best practice approach here is going to, like I said, create a new area. Now the way that we do that is let's go into home here. You'll see that we have a new button up the top here. If we select this, what we're going to do is correct create a new document library. This new document library is going to be uh, this area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, basically call this, for example, uh, private. Okay, so we're going to give that uh, a name. We can put a description in there. We'll add it to the site navigation and create it. Now that's going to create another location for us to go in and uh, put documents in. Now what we can also do is we can go in and change the permissions here. So what I'm going to do to do that is go up to the cog here. I'm going to go to the library uh, settings here. So this will take us to the back area. We need to be obviously an administrator to do this. I'm going to go to the permissions for this document library. All right, and you'll see here that I'm going to stop uh, inheriting permissions. So that means that they won't flow down and I can set unique permissions. Now what I'm going to do here, for example, is I'm going to select the Contoso members. You'll see that they currently have the edit permission. I'm going to uh, change that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to only allow uh, members of the team. Uh, as you see before, they've usually got read write, but we're going to make sure that they've only got uh, read permission. So we've been able to uh, go in and uh, do that for our uh, new uh, location here called private. So again, the idea is we created a new document library, we set up the permissions that we want. So why don't we go in and maybe put some uh, files in here so that we can actually see that there is data in there. So let's, for example, go into the uh, legal area here and let us just drag and drop a collection of files in there. Wait for a moment or two for those to upload so we now have uh, unique files in there. Now remember this uh, library here will have the permissions that all administrators or owners of the site can read and write, but members uh, can only read only. So once we've created this, what we need to do is link this back into our team. Now the way that we do that is we go to where we want it to uh, appear uh, in our team. So I'm going to put in the general channel. I'm going to hit the plus key here. I'm going to add a tab up the top. Now I can select the option here for document library. You'll see here that, again, we would be presented with uh, relevant sites if that was uh, showing. But the easiest way here probably is just to go and get a link. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically go and get a copy of uh, the library. All right, so we're going in and copying that. We're going to paste that in there. All right, and then we will select the go option there. All right, you'll see that it does come up, so we can now uh, select that and go next. 
All right, so in there you'll see that we have the ability to uh, browse that area, that SharePoint site. We've already got documents in there, so let us select private, which is the one that we created, and go next. We're going to call this uh, private. Just leave it as private to make it nice and easy. We will save that. And that will then, again, announce that in the channel for us. And we'll also create an area that we can easily navigate to. So now we have our normal files area. And again, those files are determined uh, by the channel. But we've also been able to go in and link a private area. Now, what we did again was we went and created a separate uh, document library in the base SharePoint site here. And we did that by going to Home and then selecting a new uh, document library there. Once we created that and set the permissions that we wanted, we went back into the team, selected the location that we wanted that to appear, selected the plus key to add a tab up the top here, and then added in the document library and put in the URL. Now, the benefit of this is that we can now have a files area that is managed by teams without making any changes, and we can also have a uniquely permissioned area also uh, inside our team interface that anybody can work with, but still has those permissions we set up in the background in SharePoint. Now, the other good thing about this is when we create this uh, additional area here, which I did in uh, the associated SharePoint team site with the team, I can actually create that library anywhere. And as long as the user has permissions, I can link that back into the team. So what you could do is you could have a team in here with its own unique files, and then you could have a common area in a, another SharePoint location that you could link back in. So again, using the ability to add a tab and then select a document library here uh, gives you that flexibility basically to uh, link any file location back into a team. And obviously, as I mentioned, the best practice is to not go in and change any of the permissions that are associated with the team channel, which you find here in the uh, documents area inside SharePoint. So remember, don't change any of the permissions here. If you need to have anything separate, go in and create a new separate area wherever you want and link it back into the team as I've shown you here. Thank you very much for watching this video.